hang up your nine to five and head to Izakaya. A little more rock and roll, a little more fun. A Japanese gastro pub like no other in Houston's trendy Midtown. It's really exciting. Everything has a lot of flavor and spice to it. Lots to take in here. Well before you taste the eye-popping delicious food. I like the inside. It's a good atmosphere. Look around. There's a million things to look at. Almost as popular as this chef and the food, the dramatic contemporary Japanese murals painted by a local tattoo artist. Now they've become part of like the Houston scene now. We actually have people that walk in here just to take pictures of the murals. There's also a polished wood grain raw bar crafted from a single tree trunk. Even the tabletops have a story. For this one, this is a 109 year old tree from the, from the heights. Izakaya is big on personality all around. Chef Jean-Philippe Gaston was born in France but traveled the world. As a result, his creative, small, shareable plates are infused with a global vibe. I like how open it is and a good variety of food with some new kind of trendier items. It's just a fun place to be in. And you get a lot of little different things. You have a raw bar, you have a sit down area, you have a place where you can stand and just hover. Yeah, patios, you have all kinds of stuff that make it really accessible to everybody to just come have a drink and enjoy the good time. This surfer guy turned karaoke performer. What do you sing? Oh man, they have a pretty bad range. So, <laughs> Give us a little sample. No, no. Is an incredibly talented chef who makes any visit to Izakaya that much more fun. Do you play in the kitchen? Uh, do you have fun with it? <laughs> we do. Uh, I'm pretty goofy. I'm pretty strict as well because of my background and I, and I tend to get angry and yell a lot, but only because of love, I, I like to say. <laughs> and they love him right back. Izakaya is adorned with little chotskis, tokens of affection that his customers and his employees routinely give him. People brought me little knickknacks here and there and I ended up putting them everywhere so they could see them when they came back. Perhaps his thank you to them is best reflected in the eclectic dishes he sends out from this kitchen. Like the braised, then grilled Portuguese octopus, drizzled with a zesty yuzo kosho vinaigrette, topped with telecherry pepper and micro cilantro greens. Or the sizzling yakisoba with pan seared noodles, chicken, and fresh veggies, all soaked in a sweet and tangy yakisoba sauce, then garnished with bonito flakes and a plump 62 degree egg. Cooked to perfection. One of the house favorites, grilled Mexican street corn rolled in yuzo kosho mayo, seasoned with a zesty mix of togarachi and tahin spices, then rolled again in a trio of Parmesan, Gouda, and Gruyere cheeses. One of Chef Philippe's favorites is a dry ramen, featuring a garlic cream sauce made even richer with a touch of brandy-cured foie gras. Oh man! Yeah, it's super aromatic. If you don't like garlic, don't eat this dish. The chef starts off with sauteed chicken thighs. It's a little hot in the kitchen, so. A little. <laughs> then come the mushrooms. To that garlic cream base, he adds a touch of a very concentrated broth for umami. Then the noodles. Not really a diet friendly dish, is it? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be fun. You're absolutely right. A sprinkle of sesame seeds, and it's done. Mmm. <laughs> oh, whoa. That is amazing. So good, you want to lick the spoon. This chef not only has a passion for fantastic food, Japanese whiskeys get his attention too. Izakaya boasts an extensive collection, offering nine different whiskey flights. Sampling is an adventure. Sure. Yeah. One. That's nice, this. yeah. Even nicer, the even older Yamazaki. <laughs> that was really I kind of get it now. Like, scary good. You'll be inspired to raise a glass at Izakaya too. Uh, I love Japanese restaurants, so this place is really cool. We'll be back.
time for my wine finds of the week, and today we're talking dessert wines. These wines go great with cookies, pies, cakes, or their dessert all by themselves. At first, I'm starting with a Chardonnay, but this is a very fruit-forward Chardonnay. It's called Lost Maples, and yes, Texas wine fans, this is a Texas wine. The Chardonnay comes from the Vanderpool area. Very fruit-forward, bright flavors of apples and pears, and it's only $7.98 a bottle. Okay, moving on to something fun and effervescent. This is the Prima Maso Pink Moscato. This effervescent wine has vibrant flavors of cherries, strawberries. It's very low alcohol, so it makes it a wonderful party wine. It's a crowd pleaser at about $12 a bottle. Okay, another one your friends are going to love and you, and it really could be dessert all by itself. This is the Cupcake Sparkling Red. Everyone loves the cupcake wines. They're so popular. Well, this one is no different. It comes from Northern Italy, a region known for its sparklings. It's bright, bubbly, tons of bean cherries on the palate. It's priced at about $13 a bottle. As always, I found all my wines at HEB. Need a little downtime? When we come back, we'll tell you how you could win a relaxing weekend at the beautiful Houstonian Hotel. How about a weekend away? This could be your chance, complete with spa treatments. Head to Good Taste TV right now and sign up for a chance to win a luxurious weekend at the Houstonian. Follow us on Facebook at Good Taste with Tangi and on Twitter and Instagram at Tangi Patton. And as always, if you missed any of this week's show, you can catch it online at goodtaste.tv. Sign up for our newsletter. That's all our time for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. Cheers to good taste.